Warning, this article contains spoilers from the Gold six-part BBC series The Gold saw many of the criminals going down after the Brinks Matt robbery. However, the fate of the robbers varied depending on their role in the heist. The Gold takes its cue from the real-life Brinks Matt robbery, which was one of Britain's biggest ever heists. Where is Gordon Perry now? At the start of the finale, there was a title card, which read, The following is inspired by real events. Some characters and elements have been created or changed for dramatic purposes. The show mixes fact with fiction with lawyer Edwin Cooper, played by Dominic Cooper, and policewoman Nikki Jennings, Charlotte Spencer, both fictitious characters written into the series for dramatic effect. However, the gold money launderer Gordon Perry, Sean Harris, who would put Del Boy Trotter to shame, was indeed a real-life figure. In the show, Perry was arrested in Spain after he hitched a ride on a boat off the Kent coast yet remained a looming threat from the continent. But thanks to a phone tap on solicitor Edwin's phone, the law finally caught up with up as he was sunning it up. While Nicky insisted he would end up behind bars for 10 years, Gordon was convinced he would only serve half of this time and life wouldn't look too bad when he was out. Nonetheless, Perry did go down for his crimes and a title card at the end of the episode reveals Perry got 10 years for conspiracy to handle stolen bullion. Perry, along with Brian Perry, Patrick Black and Jean Savage were convicted at the Old Bailey in August 1992. He was a property developer from Westerham, Kent and along with the other three laundered more than £14 million after gold bullion was stolen in the 1983 raid near Heathrow. Perry reportedly used a Panama law firm to get millions of pounds after the police froze his offshore assets, The Guardian reported in 2016. This Panama link was alluded to in the TV show with the character of Perry teasing there was more going on than the police realized. In real life money was washed through Perry's offshore front companies and then returned to the UK to be used in property deals without being linked to the heist. Before his capture, Perry helped to arrange property deals including buying land in the Docklands at the time which was a rapid area of regeneration in the 1980s and into the early 1990s. He is also said to have used the money to buy Crockham House in Kent, a £400,000 house for his family including gold-plated daps. Curtains are said to have cost £60,000 on the Mock Tudor Mansion which was located near Sir Winston Churchill's former home of Chartwell. After being released from prison after serving his sentence, Perry is said to still be living at the nine-bedroom bedroom with his wife Irene today. A total of three tons of gold worth now an estimated £26 million was stolen in the heist and most of it has never been recovered. A lot of the gold is thought to have ended up back in the legitimate gold market. There have also been claims anyone wearing gold after 1983 is likely to have been wearing bullion from the Brinks Mat Hall. According to BBC News, some of the gold simply vanished and reappeared in foreign bank accounts linked to the criminal underworld. The gold is streaming on the BBC iPlayer now and airs on BBC One on Sundays at 9pm.